But it's the first day for most MPS schools. There are 15 year round schools in the district that already started their new year. And the first day of school is an exciting time for most students. Remember that? That's the co actually I don't know so long ago. That's the <laughs> company line, right, from adults. Just to make sure, we sent Beverly Taylor out to find out how it went, how great the first day really was. She joins us live in West Beverly. <laughs> Yeah, I'm at the Horace Mann Elementary School. We got here just before the end of the school day, and we got an earful. Can you tell them again? Because we were a little bit interrupted. Kids were winding down as the first day of the school year was coming to an end. But once three o'clock came, so did the rush of adrenaline. The first day was over, and they had a lot to tell parents anxiously waiting for them. Can you give me something? Yeah. What is it? Haley and William Negron knew their son William would have a good day just by the way he left them in the morning. I'm like, how do you feel right now, buddy? He's like, cool. Oh, this is one word he said to me, so the boy was excited. He was definitely excited to be going to school. What else happened in school? Well, five-year-old Janiah Pendleton will tell you. What was the best thing? Uh, uh, he was playing those swings. What did you do in the music class? Uh, we sat down on chairs, and it was a guy. Uh, he put some music on on the radio. The kids are giving the first day a big, fat thumbs up. And so were the teachers. It was an incredible day. It was so much fun. The kids were energized. We had moving action from inside to outside and just a lot of good learning, incredible books going on. And so the kids are excited to be back. Crawshaw teaches first, second, and third grades. And she says there were no tears on the first day. The same cannot be said about all of the parents. I'm sad. Everybody wants their kids to go to school. I'm very sad. <laughs> It was a hard day. That parent, Judy Hughes, she took a five week vacation during the summer to be with her kids, and she's going to miss all those fun activities they did. And plus, she has to go back to work. Reporting live in West Dallas, Beverly Taylor, <laughs> Fox 6 News. And there is that. All right, Beverly, thanks very much. <laughs> One of our colleagues who will remain nameless mm -hmm. calls this Independence Day. His yeah. child goes back to class, all right. in love, of course. Right. It's not hard to figure out. There aren't that many parents in there.